Ahoy! Hola! Hello! My name is Lidia and I am from Guatemala. I came to Prague almost two years ago. In my free times, I enjoy uh, volunteering, but also going for walks, um, exploring the city, and I love craftsmanship. Uh, so today, what I'm gonna teach you to make are worry dolls, which are traditional pieces of craft that we have in Guatemala. They come from a legend that tells that if you have a worry, you will grab your worry doll and you will tell to it, to her, what is it that you, can, you, you feel worried about. So for example, maybe you have a bad day or maybe you're afraid because of something that you have to do the next day. You don't know who to tell it to, so you will take your worry doll, you will tell it to it in the ear, you will tuck the worry doll right under your pillow and in the night as you go to sleep, they take care of your worries and next day come, you feel happy again. So, what do we need to make our worry dolls or quitapelas? Uh, I will show you. Here I have some textiles, some rounded balls out of wood, some tape or masking tape. Also, you will need some sticks, a nice colorful thread, scissors, some glue, markers. So, once you have all your materials ready to go, um, you will just need a table, of course, to put everything. And we're going to start with our first material for our Kitapena homemade dolls. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of stick you have there. Look at this one. They are pointy and these ones aren't. And that's okay. So, but what matters is, first of all, you need to decide the size for which you want your worry doll to be. So, you know, like it can be halfway of a stick that you're using or maybe even tinier. It depends on how big you want to make it. But here I go just for the size of my hand. So this is, you know, see, I'm just extending my hand, then that's the measure, and I'm just gonna track it. And here I have one stick. I can do the other one to make a smaller version. The second part, the head. So I found these wooden spheres that have holes in them, which is very convenient because I can just take them and tuck them inside the stick. But look at this. Wow, it just goes back and forth. So that means that I don't want a wiggly head, so what I'll do for it not to move is grab a piece of masking tape, or it can be tape, um, and you can estimate it, but I guess, yeah, this is like, I don't know, I'm gonna go for 10 or 15 centimeters, but uh, what I'll do is then I'll, I'll just see where my hand is, where my, where my head is, and I'll Put the masking tape right under the head and I'll just start rolling it around. Go, turn it around and unroll. And what I'm doing here is that I'm thickening the stick so that the next time when I get try to get the head on it, it's not gonna go down. So it's gonna be thick enough for it. And see? It's not going down anymore. So that's one part. Make sure that your head is not going back and forth up. The other thing that I can do is that I can put a little bit of glue on the upper part so that, oopsie, make sure that you have a nice piece of sheet underneath your work because it's gonna get maybe a bit too sticky. Um, and here you go, I just have some glue, it's gonna dry slowly and nicely. Um, see, I just have my stick. And I need something that is a bit smaller than that. So I'm just gonna break again one of my sticks. And it's kind of like half of the size. And it's gonna be a bit like a cross what I'm kind of making. See this? So I'm gonna have my little cross. Then I'm gonna put it back. I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm gonna use a piece of thread. Um, so once I have this part, if you want, if you're a bit uncomfortable with it being wiggly, because I will just put thread around it and I don't want to move it. You can just use some tape and again, same idea. I have my sticks and right now they are just gonna, the tape is just gonna help me to hold my sticks a little bit so that I can easily do the next step because it's gonna be the clothes what we'll be doing. So see, I just have my little cross here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back. 
and this is not wiggling or not as wiggly as before and then that means that I can go and carry around and start decorating the body with clothes so I'm gonna pick blue because that's one of my favorite colors you can pick a different color all right um, for this I don't really have an estimate of thread that you will need so don't cut it but just make sure you have one free end and then this is how it starts I have I'm holding it right on the body with one finger and then with my other hand I'm just gonna go one side and diagonal and then I'm gonna switch the other side diagonal so you're kind of like creating an X see an X and then another X on the other side so an X on one side another X on one side Or actually this is my front and then in the back so once I'm ready what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this out and you don't need to do anything with it just be, be mindful that you will have this hanging part um, but just leave the body aside because the next part that you will do is the skirt so for the skirt you need um, something like a rectangular piece so think of like you will need to cover some parts of your blouse or of your ready-made blouse and then the ends of the stick. So depending on how large that is, that, that determines the size of your rectangle. So for mine is like a bit like from the tip of my nail to the end of my hand and that's what I'm gonna kind of cut. I will pick this one. Yeah. I think it looks nice with the beach. So uh, if you want, you can draw first on your rectangle so that you'll make sure that you're cutting the right shape. So let's say I'm going like from here to here, the end of my hand to the very tip. So I'll just make one dot and then my rectangle is going to be of the size of my hand, but extended. And then those are the little points that I will connect with my scissor. So I got my scissors and I start cutting as you're cutting it. See now? I think this one looks like it's gonna work. Uh, yeah, I think it's just fine. So I'm gonna put the cloth right behind the body of my doll and I'm just gonna start tying it. Yeah. Rolling it, rolling it. So I just go one roll at a time, two rolls, three rolls. I'm gonna grab another piece of thread. So let's say now I want to do red here. Um, I will get some thread and I'm gonna do the same thing as I did for the body, but this time I'm just gonna make a little bit here so that it's going to hang the skirt. So I just put my thread right here, see, and oh, my kind of trying to move, and I come again and I roll on it, and then. You cut whatever you have left, and then I'm gonna just kind of come behind and around my other body doll. And one of the last parts, which is a bit tricky, is to get the thread under the existing cloth. So maybe if you have something pointy like this, you can come and try to get this piece of thread inside the doll. This is one way of doing it. So see, I just managed to get it under. And I'm gonna try to get it again and not over another part of the thread, the blue thread. And you could maybe use a needle if you want. So this is one way of doing it. You get it to the body and then you just cut whichever is left. Or if you feel more like a blue person, you can just add some glue to the body of your body doll. And right now it's gonna look a bit messy, but it's gonna dry out so you will not see the blue. But you can just basically put some glue on the body and then you just let it dry. Um, the next step will be to make your worry doll hair. Um, so, for this one, uh, we have many options. You can just maybe cut a couple of pieces of thread. So, let's say I just have this. I have this big line and I'll just make something a bit like confetti cutting. So, I just make it by half, I cut it, then I fold these two pieces of thread in half and I cut them and then again half and cut and then 
and you know if you want you can just glue this on your girl's hair and maybe she could have a bit of like this kind of filter but i'm gonna try to recreate a hairstyle that is very common to wear back home and that is braids people back home wear a lot of braids and why dogs do have um braids so what you need to do is cut three pieces of thread of the same size i mean same length and then we're gonna make a little knot at the very end your pieces of thread could be something between 20 and 30 centimeters long it depends on how long you want your hair but then what i'm going to do is i'm going to is that i'm going to braid hair so i start one side in one out in and out and once i have this folded in half try to find the middle point i am going to put some glue at the very very top of my boy girl's hair oh that's a bit too much that's all right <laughs> if you have an extra that's okay don't worry about about it it's just gonna dry out so i'm coming I'll just glue the braid at the very, very, very top part. So um, here you can see that my boy girl has two long braids. And that gets us closer to our last step for the boy girl, which is to draw a face. And I'm just gonna make two eyes, and you can make a nice smile. And Maybe add some more details to the face, but here it is. There's one worry doll, and it's a bit of an adapted version of these other worry dolls. But what matters is that it's inspired on this one, and that it's still has the same value. Um, you can pack them nicely, make a nice set, and share it with your friends or parents and family. And here, uh, the intention is just to show you one way in which I usually make them for my friends or my family. So, this is how my final wardrobe looks like. You can see there is a nice skirt. It has a tiny belt that is holding the skirt. This end is tip that I stuck in through the thread, the blue thread, is also dry. And it's the same with the hair, so it's not gonna fold again. It has a beautiful smile and if you want, feel free not just to make one, but maybe you can make two, three, four, whichever many you want to make. So I hope that you had fun uh, watching this video. Please share in the comments below. I would like to hear about the creations that you made uh, or maybe any new ideas that you have for these um, pieces of craftsmanship. Um, thank you again for your time and see you. Merry Christmas.